Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Golf Shop TV. I'm Jeff Harrison. I'm Amy Anderson. Boy, what an exciting start to an exciting weekend, Amy. I love this time of year. You know, uh, I always I wanted to open up saying, live from <laughs> Marrakesh. Um, <laughs> hey, it's a gorgeous morning out here. There's no doubt. We were just talking about these greens as we were walking out on the set. Man. Yeah, they're absolutely perfect. There's not a blemish on any of them. I don't think anyone plays. You know, at a time when uh, when the golf industry, and I mean to get into this, but a time in the golf industry is, uh, as a whole, not doing well. Mm -hmm. I mean, this golf course is really taking up in their notch. It's in perfect condition. I noticed they're replacing the uh, the parking lot right. and the drive. Uh, they just keep on making it better and better. What a great place to become a member, and I think they still have something going on this summer, don't they? They do. and. Uh, now I believe it's $500 for the rest of the summer, and that's for a couple. That's, All the golf great. you want to play, golf cart, everything. That's awesome. So, and this is, it's just a good course. All right, not to rush it, but uh, okay. let's get to the meat of the matter. Uh, we're playing across the pond today. We are. Royal Lytham. And St. Anne's. And St. Anne's. Boy, you know what? Uh, there's a golf course with 205 bunkers. Yep, and they're nasty bunkers. Yeah, they're those, there's those, you know, the sodded front and you get in a bunker and you can pretty much guarantee, hey, you're not going for the green. Yep, it's a true one stroke hat or penalty when you get in them. I love that kind of course. I do too. I think, you know, that's what it should be. It, you know, great, okay, if you're really good hitting the sand, but you know what? It's designed to be a penalty. Yeah. I, I like that. Now everyone talks about how it's such a fair course. I mean, it's one of those courses, if you hit a straight ball, you're not going to get into too much trouble. But if you hit it offline, watch out. Those The rough, with all the rain they've had, is just penal. Yeah. It's, uh, sorry, we've got a lot of bugs out here this morning. We're shooting live. Um, <laughs> yeah. A lot of activity on the leaderboard. Uh, somebody, I, you know, you and I, we were going back and forth mm -hmm. and putting a list of names together. and. Yeah, I didn't put Adam Scott on that No, list. I didn't either. Not, I don't think anybody did. Yeah, not because I didn't think he's talented. I just didn't know. I, I didn't. There's so many names out there. His didn't pop up. He just hasn't. You know, he started off the year a little, you know, pretty strong. And then he's had this lull and nothing's really been happening. All of a sudden he goes out and, uh, you know, he's fired a, what, a, a six under. Yeah. Yep. 64. What Very a great nice. Round. Yeah. Great round. Look good. Yeah. When I well, I woke up. I have to admit, I woke up at three and rolled over and grabbed the iPhone and checked scores, <laughs> and saw his name at the top of the leaderboard. And I'm like, holy cow! But what a leaderboard! Everybody's a major winner except for him. Yeah. And uh, you know, he had it at one point. Even had his seven under. Had a little trouble yep. in uh, what was on 17. Uh huh. And uh, made a bogey there, but came back, made a nice solid par on uh, 18. Of course, Graham McDowell. Yeah. I, I, you know. I, I don't know if it's the accent or what, but that guy, he's scrappy. You know, he's just a good, great player, great player. Well, he is. You know, he's second in greens and regulation. And he rarely misses fairways. Now, when I got out of the car here, he had just put it into one of the bunkers on 17. Yeah. So, and then he punched out, obviously, and had, I think, 100 yards into the green. Okay. So, we'll see what happens. So, he got a chance to save his par. Yeah. But, you know, he's grown up on those kind of golf courses. He has. Things. So, this is not like a real shock to him. No. I, where... The thing that I think is a real shock, let's go the opposite direction. Okay. Lee Westwood. Yep, he's at a, well, he started off hot, two birdies in a row, followed by a double bogey. Hello. Yeah. 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 Ends up shooting three over for the day, yep. and, you know, he's, you know, nine shots back. Um, but they're a guy, you know, definitely. Now, see, I think if I saw Adam Scott back there, no, no offense, but if I saw Adam Scott back there, I'd be like, man, okay, he's pretty much done. Lee Westwood, I feel like, you know, He's got so much horsepower under the hood, right. and again, growing up in that uh, in that environment, the only thing that's a little stranger. I mean, you have a stat on the last time someone from England won a golf course in Eng or won on a right. golf course. Right. So it was 1969, the last time someone, an Englishman, won in England. Forty-three years. So, so at the Open. Yeah. So that's gonna. It's gonna. Yeah. Obviously. So that's gonna be a while. Uh, I think it can still happen. What other kind of little st stats do you have for us this well, morning? Well, let's let's keep on the Englishmen because there are so many great Englishmen. Um, you know, who rank pretty high in world rankings. Well, I think Luke got, uh, yeah, Oh yeah, one. One. Yeah. Okay, and I don't believe he's teed off yet. No. But Justin Rose, he kind of choking it up today. Six, what was he, six, six over? Six over, now yeah. down to four over. Yeah, you know, they said he fought back. I mean, that's good. Yeah. You know, six over, you're four over. Uh, that You know, you got to walk away with a little bit of a, a good feeling if you started out at six over, not started out, but you got it to six over at one point, so that's good. Yeah. Now, um, the weather today is pretty benign. 
people up there here too. Totally, <laughs> totally unexpected over yeah. there. You know, it looks like very little wind, Amy. And you know where your golf course you, they talk about has had so much rain, like almost two feet of rain right. uh, for the summer. It's just lush, lush. I mean, it's as lush as it is here. Uh, in fact, I heard one of the commentators uh, say that it looks like a West Coast golf course in the winter that's been oh, overseeded. Interesting. And, uh, you know, they're not getting the normal bounce it short 20 yards and let it roll up. I mean, I see them firing right at the pin and the yeah. ball is spinning and, you know, coming back. That's pretty unusual. And the wind, which is usually the teeth of the course, isn't there today. So yeah. that's why we're seeing scores go low. low. Well, you see uh, also uh, Zach, Zach Johnson, who is not considered, you know, one of your longer yeah. hitters out there, and he's motored his way around the golf course very well. I yep. think he has he finished, finished his at round? five under. Five under, so he's yeah. in second place. And so did Paul Lowry. Yeah, there's another guy. I mean, you know, hey, he's already a, a you know an open winner, and uh, it's been a while, but uh, yep. definitely an open winner. Yeah. Once a winner, always a winner. And That's Bubba good. Watson finished today, three under. Good gotta, for him. Yeah, I got to say something about Bubba. You know, the <laughs> fact that all of a sudden he like defanged his driver. Now, I know there was a couple times where he just pulled it out and wailed on it and didn't usually pay off for him. But, you know, for the most part, he was predictable because all of a sudden he had something other than that pink shafted driver on it, you know, in his hand, giving it a rip. Well, I think playing with Tiger at uh, the U.S. Open was probably the best thing ever for him because you really learn something about how Tiger kind of plots his way around a course, and I think you have to do that there. Speaking of plotting around a course, I mean, Talk about how his fairways, you know, he's hitting the fairways, hitting yep. the greens. Uh, I think through, I, I saw it before we got out, he was on the oh, what was on the 16th or 17th hole, and he had hit all but two fairways. Yeah, pretty uh, impressive. Pretty impressive, you know. So putting's kind of holding him back on the back nine today. Yeah, and it doesn't look like he's, it doesn't look like he's putting poorly, you no. know, like he's missing something by, you know, foot. It's, it's almost going in. Yep. I, I think he'll be a little frustrated, but I think because he, you know, he is who he is, I think he'll be patient and I think he'll capitalize on that. Yeah. Now here's kind of a cool stat uh, at Royal Lytham and St. Anne's. The winner in the past has always been number one in world rankings or by winning sprung to number one, like David Duvall was number oh. two. After winning there, he sprung up to number one. So if, if that's past history, boy, we've got kind of few people to choose from. So can Adam Scott be number one? Nope. Ah, okay, so, so he's out. Okay. Uh, let's see. Graham uh, McDowell? Graham McDowell? Nope. Out. Uh, Tiger Woods. Yep. Ah. Lowry. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Lee West. Lee Westwood. Yeah. Luke Donald. He, yeah. Okay. Well, we'll say. But Luke. you know what? They're Englishmen. There's so a you little never bit know. Of, well, you know. It's been a long time. I see. It's been a long time on the ground. I mean, maybe it's time for it to sprout. Who knows? I think it's going to be a great weekend. <laughs> it's going. I'm. I'm looking forward to watching each morning. So, do you have any idea what the weather's going to hold for them this weekend? Well, the weather was, they were predicting wind and rain, and now it's going to be less severe, so. That's cool. Yeah. You notice when they show a picture of that, I mean, it's just out there on its own. It's uh -huh. just, no wonder they have four seasons a day there. So I think that's pretty exciting. Now, a lot about the open. The cool thing I like about it is like you were up at, you know, three o'clock checking out. I was up at 4.30. I actually got up and worked out and watched it on television a little bit. And it was just, it was exciting to turn it on. And it was almost like that, oh, I hope, okay, I'm a Tiger fan. Like, oh, I hope he's doing okay. I hope he's not. And he was like four under at the time. I'm like, yes. And I'm thinking he must be leading. And then they showed Adam Scott at seven under. I'm like, holy cow. And then it was because of the weather. So it's, I think it's going to be an exciting weekend. But something as exciting, I think, Amy, is you have a new segment coming up. What is that? Well, each week we're going to talk about someone uh, in the golf world who no one really knows anything about. Well, I like to say you're going to talk about them. You yeah. know, Amy, if you if you haven't caught on by now, Amy loves to research, and she's she puts all our stuff together, and I just kind of spat it out. And but she loves stats and research, so she's going to look out there for someone that that we've never heard of. Uh, who are you going to talk about today? Well, I want to talk about Roger Chapman, who Fantastic. won the U.S. Senior Open last week. Okay. So. Now, how are we going to do that? Are you going to talk during the segment, or are you going to put it on at the end? Well, I just, there's just a few things about Roger Chapman that I think are kind of interesting, so I'm just going to chat about it right now. You know, the cool thing about Roger Chapman is you mentioned it's his uh, second major of the season. Now, what was his other win, Amy? Well, he won the uh, Senior PGA Championship back in May, I believe. Yeah. And, you know, when he won in May, I was like, one, Roger who? Rabbit? Roger Chapman? Yeah, now he's always played on the European Tour. He had actually over 600 starts there. 
Yeah, they What's call him the journeyman. To? What's that work out to? Well, I think about 20 uh, starts a year. Wow, so he had a 30-year, very strong career. Yeah, and when I was looking at his stats, nothing really stood out. He wasn't, you know, he was right there in the middle in every single stat. So he's just kind of a solid golfer. He's kind of the guy that just kind of plots his way around the course, never does anything really great, but is always right there. So I didn't know if you said it. He's had over 600 starts. How many wins? Just one in Brazil. No The kidding. Rio de Janeiro Open. Hmm. No kidding. <laughs> yeah. 600 starts. So now he starts out. Is this his first year on the senior tour? No, he's uh, actually he's 53. So. Okay. 53, yeah, still, still a very rel- young, yeah, very, very young, young man. Yeah. Very young. <laughs> um, and uh, so 53, already has two majors yeah. now under his belt on the senior tour. And he looks, I mean, I thought he looked really solid this weekend. He doesn't give up. He looked unflappable. Yeah, he's, he's kind of a fighter. I like it. Um, anything else we need to know about Roger? That, you know, he's from England. He was born in Kenya. Uh, oh, he was? Yeah. Okay. So. Now, is that just south of London? Just, just, just the south side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, there, you know, it's interesting. You look at uh, research on him, there's not much about him. I mean, he hasn't really done anything. Well, that's what's kind of cool. You know, you've, you've heard this thing, and real quickly to wrap that up and put a bow on it, you've talked about parody. You know, there is so much of that right now. It's not only deep, but it's wide. Mm-hmm. You know, I already saw another name on the leaderboard this morning that I hadn't recognized. I can't remember who it was, but it was another name on there. I'm like, who is that person? I don't know who it is. And... There's so much, I think there's so much money to play for. There's yep. so many tours around the world. I mean, these kids are starting at age zero. It's amazing. I mean, we're seeing that with some of our kids that work in our junior program here. Pretty amazing. Yeah. So, well, I think we should do one more peek at the leaderboard. All right, let's do it. Let's so do it. just quick grab this here. Let's so see if anyone's on, made a move. So uh, that's on ESPN today? It is. It's on ESPN every single morning, pretty much starting at 1.15 or 1.30 California time. A.M. So. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, someone we haven't t- talked about, Ernie Els. Oh, Ernie Els. Minus three. Holy cow. Good for him. Good deal. Yeah. How about, then, oh, how about Tom Watson? Tom Watson? Tom Watson was at even par when we started. Let me see if he's still there. He was playing a great round. Yeah, he, you know, he's 62 years old, five-time winner in the, in the Open. And, uh, you know, you got to just pull from it. Even if you don't know who Tom Watson is, if it's a new era yeah. or you, you don't like him or whatever you got to pull for Tom Watson. Yeah, and he always says this is one of those courses he's never played really well, but he's, he wants to give it a go. So he's awesome. still there at even par. Fantastic. So, Anybody else up top? Did anything else change up there? Uh, no, it's still about the same. Don't you love this iPad I idea? don't. <laughs> they should pay us. They should, you know, do us a little advertising here. Yeah, so the leaderboard's about the same as when we started. So So give us a real quick rundown to maybe the top five. Okay, so Adam Scott at minus six, then Paul Lowry and uh, Zach Johnson are at minus five, Ernie Els. Bubba Watson, Graham McDowell, and Tiger Woods are at minus three. Outstanding. Well, yeah. Hey, thanks for joining us. It's been a fun, fun, uh, you know, start to a great week of the Open. This is our third major of the year. Yep. You know, one more left. Uh, um, you can catch us on thegolfshoptv.com. Also, we're uploading a lot of our stuff to iTunes. Some of them fit, some of them don't. Uh, but check us out there. Uh, also. If you're ever in a situation where you have a friend or you're not sure yourself about, hey, what should I do when on the golf course when it comes to etiquette and rules, we have a really neat program called Etiquette Moments. And you can slip on over to the golf, or excuse me, uh, swingpointmedia.com and sign up there. And then what we do is we send out these weekly tips, a little, you know, one to three minute videos about, hey, who's supposed to put the flag and, uh, you know, who's supposed to take it out, where you're supposed to stand, watch your, all those things that drive other people crazy or you don't even know they are uh, supposed to do it or not you can do it there and we just send them out every week we'd love for you to join us i'm jeff harrison i'm amy anderson have a great weekend